Hey guys, what is up? Redmaster here, and welcome back to another video. Today, we do have a look into Hero Mode and what it entails. So, um, let me just say right off the bat, this mode is more complex than some of the previous ones that we've seen. We've seen Rainbow, we've had Standard, uh, but this one does take it to a new level, if you will. Um, and that level is just a whole bunch of craziness. So, as you can tell, Hero Mode uh, is based around these heroes, these um, variations of Legend cards. Uh, for Crusaders have Joan Viev, Ninjas Kuro, Saurus for Warlocks, Robin for Pirates, um, and so on and so forth. Um, but, let it's. I mean, I I I can't say I'm not a fan of this mode, um, because I I am a fan of it actually. But it's just so different than what we've normally seen. So you have to take into account all these different aspects. You know where you're moving your hero, when you're summoning things, where you're summoning them. Because I just saw that black. It's sort of like a summoning sickness, if you will. So you need. To, that you uh, use cannot be played directly. They have to have like a um, a weight to them. So, and adding an aspect to a game like this definitely makes it a bit more difficult, if you will. So right now our opponent looks like he's building up something in the back there. Hmm. You know, um, so we're gonna kind of box him in the corner here. He's kind of protecting the stables, getting a place to summon his forces, so we're gonna try and stop that early on. And hopefully we can, uh, have this go well. I mean, so anyway, back to sort of what this mode is about. I mean, it's sort of just straight... It's, a, it's like a race. I mean, not to say the game itself and the previous modes are considered to be a race, but this one really is, because you got to get things out fast, you got to swarm your opponent. That's really the basics of this game mode. Um, I know I'm kind of like doing a iffy job of explaining the mode itself, but it's so hard to explain. I, I, I have a Reddit post, which I'm going to link down in the video uh, for you guys, so you can learn about the basics of here mode and what it is, but it's so hard to verbally say, so hard to verbally uh, tell someone else, but um, I mean, I certainly think it's fun, it's a new mode, it's, it's, uh, it's supposed to be interesting, it's supposed to be new, oh, perfect, Onslaught, for free from the panda, so, thank the lord for that. As you see, we're gonna we're starting to surround our opponent really, um, and of course this mode is not draft either. This is constructed, so who knows if this guy has a Luminaris bomb ready to drop on us from that reckless knight? Um, no, we well, might open up uh, something to strike my Kuro. Oh, well, there's a Luminaris Bomb. Couldn't have put a more gentle light. Uh, so, of course, we're in the face of the dragon. Seems like an appropriate move. But we are going to attack with our Kuru first, so our... So we can get a little extra power, if you will. So we really are pushing this guy. We are cornering him. We are. Our goal is to just destroy him, basically, and hopefully that's what we're kind of accomplishing here. Uh, 
All right. Uh, let's play World of Judgeland. Nice. Of course, the little dudes here are gonna get more attack, and we'll just. Yep. We're doing good so far. And I have to say, I've really been on and off with this draft. Uh, not draft. This tourney event. Uh, I can't get a, um, a solid win streak going, if you will. But that's, again, because I say this game is an entirely new mode. It's true. So our opponent's kind of retreating. I think he went with some sort of knight strategy, but ultimately, I don't know how well it's tourney, uh, going for him. Looks like, though, he bought a monk to play. Alright. I think next time we're going to play... Okay, so a uh, missionary is going to trade with... Not really trade, but... I'm going to sack the judge there. I think what we can do... Power up our judge a little. And then... Summon a Kunoichi. And let's go with a swordsman. We're gonna go with the cleave. We're gonna favor cleave in this situation. And I can really only work with the monk and whatever spells he's got in his hand for this turn. Which is why, again, I say that getting units out fast is important. So, he's sort of lined up there for swordsman. He should really block with something. Probably now. Wish he did. <laughs> it's not gonna work though. Might, uh, bleh, because we do have our judge and our. Oh! Another monk. Ah, oh, you sassy, sassy bastard. Alright. How can we combat that? Well, we can do that. But then he'll get things back. Probably say hi there. If I move up a bit, show our frog prince, and protect with our judge. So we really got him boxed in here. The frog prince, I think, is nasty for this mode. You got this towering 10-9 that's coming at you. Oh. And he decided he couldn't get out, so he's got to get rid of... Well, he just kind of killed himself there. But that's one game. I don't know if I'm going to really do um, a full breakdown of this, if you will. I'm going to try to go for, you know what, uh, I think we should go for another game. Alright, now we're back. Uh, so, alright, let's get rid of this. Save that. Alright, Flame Prince. Oh, so, so we're facing another ninja here. That's nice. This guy already knows the deal. Let's get our advantage out on him with the flame prints first. Spite fish, okay, alright. I think attacking with Koru is the better option here because it'll give our Flame Prince a better edge to it. And we're going to start boxing this Koru in, if you can already tell. I think that's another thing to consider when using Koru. You have to be willing to take damage if you want to succeed. So let's do that. I 
And we're going to attack with the Koru here. You can see our Spiny is going to power up a bit, so he's got to make a choice here. Whether he wants to go for the Spiny or the Flame Prince with this Asan Guard. And he chooses the Flame Prince to go with. Not a bad choice. But I think, yeah, he's kind of in the midst of retreating. Merciless Santa, jeez. I didn't expect to see that. Whew. Alright, so let's introduce out Koru. Get a little bit of Hassan missionary action. And really block this Santa in here, if you will. Force his hand, really. And the gift, I think, was crappy. I mean, really, buddy? Tower of Winter? Okay, judge to my Koru. That's going to give us the opportunity here. To trade there. And bring out this panda. I think we'll keep Spiny right in front of Koru. It's going to force him to attack with one of these two guys. Unless he's got a focus spell in which he'll just kill Spiny, since Spiny is a relatively weaker unit. <clears throat> but man. There's a lot of thinking to do in hero mode. A lot of thinking. Uh, I, do have all these, I do have these armories. I wonder if I should use them. I mean, they won't power up my hero, of course, but it wouldn't hurt. Okay, so he goes with the attack on the uh, spiny. Oh. Oh, he's really making this a big boy. Sound missionary. Alright, he's really trying to kill off m my dude here. Interesting. This won't activate, will it? I'm trying to think like a bunch of turns ahead, and I'm like, hmm. Let's get rid of you. And I think what we can do is bring the panda up here. But also box him in with this Tower of Winter. And he's got to really take this out. If he... You know, he's got to have a chance here. And that Tower of Winter is going to really block him in. Really freeze his unit, I think. I did that correctly. I mean, I'm just exploring this as I go as well, so... That judge, though, really did take a big chunk out of our life. So that's kind of unfortunate. Okay, so he's going for this. He knows he's got to kill it. And in turn, he's going to give some extra attack. Banshee comes out. The sound guards come out. Really wish I had my eternity strike right now. Ah, oh, damn it. Ask and you shall not receive. So we really are pressed up against the uh, wall here, if you will. We thought we had him. Now he's making a comeback, which is perfectly fine. Oh, Frog Prince. You know, it's funny. I have one, too. In my hand. I was going to play it next turn, but... Uh, yeah, it's funny. Funny how life turns out sometimes. I, uh, what the hell? Oh, sorry. A little crash on the uh, display driver. That's bound to happen. I promise that I'll try and fix that. No guarantees, though. Um, so, yeah, let's kind of move it down here and see what happens. If he's smart, he's going to trade frog princes with me, so we'll both get a little health boost. Uh, 
Uh, more guards. I can take those out with uh, Eternity Strike, so I'm not worried there. So trading, of course. Okay. Alter. All things are gonna take get taken out. Oh, you actually line that up. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Do 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 do. That really does line up perfectly now, does it? So, really getting the value out of Eternity Strike here. He's got two cards left in his hand, though. Rat Hovel. Oh. Probably just drew that. And can he use his other card? Quite possibly. No. Alright, so I think it's really over here because we could just simply power up here twice. And of course, it's going to end right here with the extra buff to Flux. Flux for the win. Ice Weaving, Chaotic Storm. Well, uh, that was fun. Two little wins. I'll probably do more of this off camera, but uh, I just wanted to show you guys some of the basics of Hero Mode, if you will. Um, so, yeah. Um, I mean, if you guys want me to do uh, a little more uh, Hero Mode before the weeks out, I think there's like three days left on it, right? Uh, yeah, three days, seven hours. I could definitely do maybe more on camera if you guys want, but you can always do that in the comments in, you know, below. Um, but yeah, if you guys did enjoy the video, please make sure to give it a, uh, a like, maybe share it with your friends, and of course comment down below what you think of Hero Mode. If you still are a bit confused on what Hero Mode is and what it is about, I did write a Reddit post, which I will link in the description below. Take a read for yourself, it'll give you some of the basics, it'll definitely help you more than this video may have in terms of explanation. But, um, yeah. With that being said, until the next video, guys, stay gaming.